The draw number is The home team started with Tesco in goal. Their local player Springbell Hildy Smith and Stapleton in the defence. Veteran midfielder Craig Nair pulled the strings for these side strollers. Also in the midfield was Etwall in Columbus. Ahead of them was Turnbury and up front was Kimita. And for the Terriers they had Siberius in goal. Nettison missed out due to Garlag, but Benson, Matthew, Murray and Deberino made up the defence. In the midfield it was Hoffman, Johnston, Lindsay, Rogan and Junior, and up front once again it was Nathaniel Hector. It was a goalless first half, but Hector and Murray had plenty shots for the Border Terriers. The Strollers goalkeeper Teshko made a lot of mistakes, but Severius however was saving well. In the second half, the East Side Strollers started off really well, but Murray and Matthew were there for the defence. The first goal did go to the Border Terriers, and who else but Nathaniel Hector. And guess who's back, back again scoring goals, Murray made it 2-0 to the Terriers. Craig near did pull a goal back for the Strollers to make it 2-1. But a tasty pass from Benson to put it on a plate for Willoughby Johnston to get his third in just two games made it 3-1 to the Terriers. And that's how it finished at Shawshank Hill Park. Back in training today after a 3-1 victory on Sunday, do you feel you played your best? Uh, I don't think we played our best on Sunday, but we definitely um, put in the performance that was needed uh, to, to win the match. Um, we started off, uh, both sides weren't really creating that much chance, uh, many, many fair, fair chances. But um, as the match progressed, um, as soon as we got the goals, uh, we were in control of the game. Willoughby Johnston has scored three goals in the two starts. Will he... Uh, leave a big hole in the team when he leaves? Um, yeah, definitely, I think. Um, but we've just got to the, the games that he's going to be... Um, the, the games that we've still got to, to play, uh, that we've still, got, we've still got him, we've got to get the best out of him, I think. And um, obviously, you'll have to go when his loan deal runs out. But um, I think uh, he's been a great addition to the squad and we just have to get the best out of him for these games. Now... Next up on St Andrew's Day this Monday, you have a mouth-watering clash against AFC Locomotive. Is this going to be your biggest test yet? Uh, I think it, um, it's, it will be a big test for us. Um, AFC Locomotive, they've, um, they've, they were, at the start of the season, they were mid-table, uh, but they've, they've uh, put a great run, uh, run of results together in the last few matches. And uh, joined, uh, they're now in fourth position, and I think it will be uh, our biggest match to date. And it should be a really good game, and I'm looking forward to that. But um, I think we just have to um, play, just just obviously, we've just got to play as well as we have done, and uh, just maintain that performance, and hopefully, we will get a, a, a good victory on Monday. Okay, thanks now. Thank you.